In this video, I want to share a trading pattern geared towards anyone trading the S&P 500 in some capacity. Whether you trade SPX options like myself, or maybe you trade SPY, MES, or ES futures, this video is definitely for you. Now, the trading pattern I'm going to reveal is probably not what you think it is. It's not a bull flag. It's not a head and shoulders pattern or any other name price pattern you've probably read about in a book before. As you probably know, the S&P 500 is dominated by high frequency trading these days, and traditional patterns like those are just simply not reliable anymore. The pattern we're going to explore uses time series analysis from recent price action to create daily intraday seasonality forecast before the trading week begins. These patterns are specific to each day of the week and can give you an additional edge to your current technical trading system. Now I'm logged into alphacrunching.com where these daily forecasts are updated each weekend before the trading week begins. For example, we're looking at the week of January 29th on the Monday. Uh, these charts were available before the 29th, so they'd be available Sunday the 28th at the latest. Now let's just take a second to explain what Alpha Crunching is doing here. What Alpha Crunching is doing is it's going back over the past month or so and it's looking at just each day of the week on its own. So we're looking at Monday in this example. And it breaks the market up into five minute time frames, five minute intervals. So this is a time series analysis. And it shows you the average number of points the market has moved for those each five minute increments. And then this is helping us create the time series forecast or time series analysis. And we can also refer to that as intraday seasonality. So when you're looking at this chart, you can see that we start at 9.30 a.m. on Monday morning. This is Eastern time and the forecast goes through the end of the day. So we're really looking at just Mondays from open to close. And if we look at this particular Monday, which would have been Monday, January 29th, we had a net bullish bias uh, going into the, the day because the market opens and most of the movement is positive and we got kind of this rally towards the end of the day. Now, the interesting thing about this, this particular Monday, it's, it just hasn't been this Monday. If we go back in time, let's go back to uh, earlier um, in January, and we can, again, zoom in on Monday, we can see that the bullish pattern is different because it changes it each week. And this is what I was mentioning before that uh, Alpha Crunching is tracking that movement. So we do get different looks each week. And this week tends to be bullish as well. Obviously a little bit choppier in the morning, but net net ends up being higher towards the end of the day. Let's go back a little bit farther. This was January. Maybe we can go back uh, sometime in December of last year. And again, we have the other days of the week. We're focusing on Monday because this bullish Monday pattern is really what this video is all about. And on this Monday uh, for December 11th, we had that uh, similar bullish pattern. Let's look at one more just so you can kind of see what these look like in different uh, ways. We go back to Monday, November 20th. Again, the pattern changes. Each increment is going to be different, but we're, we're getting a general bias for the day. So for fun, what I thought I'd do is let's backtest selling and at the money put credit spread in the morning that basically makes money if the market closes higher and it loses if the market closes lower than that morning time frame. So I went into Option Omega to set this up and just you know, quick rundown, I'm selling a put at around Delta 45, that's just out of the money, like one strike out of the money and buying five points lower on SPX. I'm gonna open this trade every Monday at 9.45 a.m. and just let it go to expiration. Again, not a recommended strategy. I still like to use some chart confirmation with my technical tools, but over the past, let's call this six months or so, this has won 95% of the time. What that means is about 95% of the time, Monday's close has been higher than Monday's open. So this is can be used for zero DTEs, what I typically trade. But if you trade SPY, futures, or any other S&P 500 type um, derivative or component, maybe UPRO, if you, if you like to trade leverage ETFs, you could also look to just trade in the direction of the forecast. So if the forecast is looking bullish, then maybe you just wanna take the long signals for your strategy. Or for me, I like to sell out of the money or at the money uh, put spreads for bullish uh, patterns. And then when it's bearish, I'll look to sell call spreads. 
Now, I don't know how long this particular Monday bullish pattern is going to last, which is why alpha crunching is going to sort of tell us um, each week if that pattern is getting stronger or weaker and we can trade accordingly. But I think it's going to give you a little bit of an edge for your trading for that particular day of the week. And if you trade the S&P 500 in some way, let me know in the comments below what you trade. Do you trade SPX options, maybe SPY options? Do you trade futures? I'd love to hear in the comments and we'll see you in the next video.